I, I don't try to force any type of imagery into the work, you know, so it, it'll be just something very simple that will just spark a whole series. It could be a book, uh, a, a poem, uh, a memory, mostly memories. The warehouse windows are very hard to find, so I was very lucky to acquire a space that has a lot of natural light. I never turn the lights on, I just use the natural light here. And even in the afternoons when it, when it does get a little bit darker, I actually uh, don't mind it. It kind of creates a whole another layer over the works. It brings out other marks and other colours. So you would never use artificial light? Rarely. I, I really, it really disturbs me. I find that the natural light is really the best way to deal with the painting. Sometimes the glare is obviously a problem, but I just move the work around. Often I'll have pieces around the studio um, of undeveloped work and they become developed as I'm making other work. And it's not about just laying down colours, the composition comes and the whole idea of the work actually develops as I'm making bigger pieces. There's a conversation going on between the two as I'm painting. So uh, even though it looks like it becomes a palette, it's actually an artwork. And it's a, it's a way of kind of micromanaging my thoughts, if that makes sense. So I, I have to have often three or four or five pieces all going at the same time, because it is constantly a conversation. Can you tell me about these portraits because you're obviously known more as an abstract painter and this is just beautiful figuration. Um, is this something you enjoy as well? I really enjoy creating portraits but it's not something I practice. If I make a, a, a figurative work it truly is just an expression of emotion. Try not to plan things out because otherwise the work doesn't feel free and all I want to do is allow this work to be free. I don't want any constraints. Mm -hmm.